This is calculator question number 21 from the March 2019 SAT. If you have not already worked this problem, pause the video for a moment while you find your answer and then come back. I'll be here. College Board is asking for which of the following is the solution to the system of equations above. This is a nonlinear system of equations. College Board will normally ask you six systems of equations problems, one of which is nonlinear. And I'll post links to my playlists on systems of equations and on nonlinear in particular. To solve this, we have several options. First, we can substitute these values in. That will take a while, particularly substituting things like 1 plus root 3, 1 plus root 5, negative 1 plus root 5 into here for x squared. So I would prefer to avoid that. Alternatively, I could add these two equations because if, if I add them, I see that the y's will cancel. Adding them gives me 2x on the left equals x squared minus 2 on the right, or 0 equals x squared minus 2x minus 2. And I can solve that with the quadratic formula. x equals negative b plus or minus square root b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. This is not the most efficient method, but it's a method we know will work several times during the course of our SAT. So we have a equals positive 1 because a is the x squared coefficient, b equals negative 2, c equals negative 2. I always write out my quadratic formula and I write out the values of a, b, and c, partly so I don't substitute them in the wrong spot, but also so I don't drop a negative because most of us are very good at dropping negatives and I have a lot of experience dropping negatives. I try to avoid it. So x equals substituting these in. Negative b is minus negative 2 is positive 2 plus or minus square root b squared would be negative 2 squared is 4 minus 4ac, negative 4 times negative 2 is positive 8 times 1 is still positive 8 all over 2. So x equals 2 over 2 is 1 plus or minus square root of 12 over 2 and that is 1 plus or minus 2 root 3 over 2 which is 1 plus or minus square root of 3. So the x value of my solution should be 1 plus root 3. If I substitute choice A, which is the only one that has 1 plus root 3, into the first equation I get 1 plus root 3 minus root 3, and that's 1, so it does work for the first equation. I still don't want to try substituting it into the second equation. But quadratic formula works here after I use a linear combination to eliminate the variable y. Let's try another way, since this is a calculator problem. I can either put the quadratic that I found into my calculator and graph it, or I can solve both of these equations for y, and I'll do that. If x minus y equals 1, let's add y to both sides. I get x equals 1 plus y, subtract 1 x minus 1 equals y, and I'll graph that in y1. In my other equation, x plus y equals x squared minus 3, subtract x from both sides, y equals x squared minus x minus 3, I'll graph that in y2, and when I hit graph, I get something that looks like this. And if I find the points of intersection, one of them, the x-coordinate, is negative, which does not match any of my choices, so I want the other one. If I use second calc, choice 5 is intersect, find the intersection of the graphs, hit enter twice, then move over near the positive point of intersection, and hit enter a third time, and I get x equals 2.732-ish, and y equals 1.732-ish. And if I go back to the regular screen and say 1 plus square root of 3, that is 2.732. So x is 1 plus root 3, and plain root 3 is 1.732. So that matches choice A. The easiest solution is definitely to use the calculator, as it often is, for finding the solution of a system of equations on the calculator section. Come back soon from my next math video. With math, there's always more.